hello and welcome to my science tutorials today we are going to be looking at temperature coefficient of resistance which is donated by uh, the symbol alpha so without wasting you guys your time let's get started okay so what is temperature coefficient of resistance well temperature coefficient of resistance is the quantity that shows how resistance varies with temperature okay so uh, whenever we have a conductor or we have a circuit okay laid down and then we have current flowing through the conductors okay depending on the particular conductor okay as the temperature changes between um like between when the cell is connected and then current begins to flow temperature changes okay so when the temperature begins to change depending on the nature of the conductor okay the temperature can either go high or low the, sorry the resistance can either what go high or low okay so this changes in uh, resistance of a, a conductor okay as uh, temperature increases okay is what we call the temperature coefficient of resistance okay so uh, the symbol is alpha like I said and then uh, how is this given mathematically okay so mathematically okay the temperature coefficient of a resistor okay of all resistance mathematically is given by what rt minus what r naught all over what r naught times t now what is this rt r naught and then t now the uh, the alpha we have over here is what we are calling the temperature coefficient of resistance now the rt is what the resistance of the wire okay resistance of wire at what the temperature t okay so uh the rt is the temperature of the wire at a particular temperature okay now the r naught is what the resistance of a wire what at what temperature is equal to what zero degrees okay so in this example uh normally for temperature coefficient okay we look at when the wire is at um, the temperature is zero okay the resistance of the wire okay and then when the temperature is at a particular temperature uh, i mean when the the temperature has risen to a particular temperature okay maybe uh, 20 30 40 okay the resistance offered by that wire differs okay so we are looking at um, the rt to be the resistance at that particular point when the temperature has either increased or decreased and then the r naught is the temperature when the wire uh the temperature of the wire was zero degrees celsius this is supposed to be zero degrees celsius sorry about that okay so r naught is the temperature at zero degrees celsius and then uh, rt is the temperature at that particular temperature that we are talking about that the resistance of the wire is changing okay so uh, from all this explanation uh, the the temperature coefficient over here has the unit okay it has the SI unit of what uh, degree Celsius inverse or Kelvin inverse okay so depending on um, the unit that you are given in the question you can either decide to maintain it as a degree Celsius uh, inverse or Kelvin inverse now this equation looks a bit more complicated you know it's it's a little bit raw so let's try and make it beautiful okay so let's try to make uh r not the subject over here okay so let's make r not the subject so we tend to cross multiply so we have r total minus r not the top one will be equal to what alpha times what r not t okay but we want to make what the subject uh rt sorry let's make rt the subject so we want to make rt the subject so we have rt is equal to alpha into bracket r naught t okay then plus r naught so we, we we brought this one to the other side of the equal to sign so we have rt again is equal to now we have r naught here r naught here so we can factor out r naught okay so if we factor out r naught we have alpha t plus here will become one okay so if you multiply this you will get what alpha r naught t plus then r naught okay so this is the equation we'll be using uh mostly to solve any example on what temperature coefficient of resistance so 
the resistance at a particular temperature is equal to what the initial resistance of the wire at zero degrees Celsius times the temperature coefficient of the resistance times the temperature plus one okay so this is the formula we are going to use to calculate uh, for either maybe the resistance at a particular temperature or maybe the resistance at uh, zero degrees Celsius or maybe even the temperature depends on what the question has given to you and then what the question is asking you to find so with this basic introduction and this basic understanding let's have a look at some series of examples to actually understand what we mean by the temperature coefficient of resistance so example number one so we have they say example number one calculate the resistance of tungsten at a temperature 20 degrees Celsius okay so we have to calculate the resistance of tungsten at a temperature of what 20 degrees Celsius so uh, at that 20 degrees Celsius we don't know the temperature so RT is not known okay at so the temperature is what the temperature we are now looking at is what 20 degrees Celsius so calculate the resistance of a tungsten at a temperature 20 degrees Celsius if its temperature coefficient of resistance is 0 0.0006 degrees Celsius inverse okay now at 0 degrees Celsius tungsten has a resistance of 15 ohms okay so it means uh, R naught okay that is when uh, when uh, the temperature was not changing within the tungsten resistor uh, the tungsten wire sorry the resistance offered by that tungsten wire was what 15 ohms okay so now uh, the resistance offered at the temperature 20 degrees we don't know okay so yes so let's let's solve this example quickly and then let's also do the alpha which is the temperature coefficient of resistance is given to us as what 0 0.0006 what degrees Celsius inverse now because uh, the temperature coefficient of resistance is given to us in what degrees Celsius inverse let's just keep our temperature in degrees Celsius because after all uh, it will be the same and then uh, they will yeah so assuming we have this in Kelvin then we need to also change this to Kelvin if we have this in Kelvin we need to change this in Kelvin so yeah so let's solve the example so we have our formula which is r total is equal to what r naught into bracket alpha t plus one okay now we don't know the r total the rt the resistance at that particular temperature we don't know but we know that the resistance at zero degrees is what um 15 okay ohms then into bracket we have the alpha which is the temperature coefficient of resistance to be what 0 0.0006 times the temperature over here which is 20 okay then plus 1 so we have rt to be equal to what 15 into bracket 0 0.0006 times 20 uh, okay will give us what 0 0.12 so 0 0.12 plus 1 will give us what 1.12 so r total okay <laughs> i keep saying r total so the resistance at the particular temperature okay is given uh if you multiply the 15 by 1.12 we are getting 16.8 ohms okay so in this example okay the resistance offered by the tungsten wire okay at the temperature 20 degrees celsius is what 16.8 so we get to realize as the temperature rose from zero degrees Celsius to uh, twenty degrees Celsius, okay, the resistance of the wire, okay, increased by what one point eight ohms, and that is quite a change, okay, it's significant enough, okay. So this is how we solve an example on um, temperature coefficient of resistivity, uh, temperature coefficient of resistance, sorry. So let's look at another example so example number two so example number two now this is actually interesting so i will take my time and explain everything 
now they say the resistance of tungsten filament okay at uh, 1750 degrees celsius is 4 ohms find the resistance of the filament at 20 degrees celsius now this is interesting the temperature of the filament okay at a particular point in time was what 1750 and then we have we are supposed to find the resistance of that filament okay at 20 degrees celsius so you can see we have different two rts okay different temperatures and then what we don't have in this case is what the temperature at what zero the resistance at zero degrees celsius which is the r naught we don't have the r naught over here so before anything else we need to use the first scenario to get our r naught and then use that r naught in solving for the temperature at 20 degrees celsius okay now we are giving the um, the temperature coefficient of resistance of the tungsten to be 6 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 uh, Kelvin inverse. Okay, now because we are given this in Kelvin inverse, we need to change any other temperatures we have over here into Kelvin. Okay, so let's look at uh, our solution in this example. So, the solution so the resistance of a tungsten filament at uh, so at this temperature, so T1 is equal to what. 2750 okay so uh degree celsius into kelvin uh we just add 273 so 273 plus 2750 273 plus uh that will give us what 2023 kelvin okay so the second temperature t2 is what 20 degrees celsius and then so this one will be what 20 plus 273 and this will give us what 293 kelvin okay so let's write the expression for the first example okay so if we have um rt okay let me use one rt1 that is the resistance at temperature one which is the 2020 kelvin will be equal to what the r naught okay into bracket alpha t one plus what one okay so this is our equation one now the r t two okay at 20 degrees celsius okay this will also be equal to what r naught into bracket alpha t two plus one so equation number two can we see that the only difference between these two equations okay is the fact that their resistance will be different and then they are temperatures are different but then the temperature coefficient of resistance is the same and then we still have one over here so let's find a ratio between these two so that we can get rid of the r naught in this instance okay so that you can find the rt2 which we are supposed to find in this case so let me say um equation two divided by uh equation one okay so we have rt2 divided by rt1 will be equal to what the rt2 we have r naught into bracket alpha t2 plus 1 divided by r naught into bracket alpha t1 plus 1 so this can cancel this okay so let's make rt2 the subject so rt2 will be equal to what this whole thing the ratio over here times rt1 which is what or RT1 okay into bracket alpha T2 plus 1 this is plus 1 all over what alpha T1 plus 1 so from here straight okay we can find we can input everything we have and then we solve our we get our answer okay so the rt1 okay is the resistance at um, temperature t1 and this is given to us by as the four ohms we have over here so we have four into bracket um the alpha is what six times 10 to the power negative three okay times the temperature at um, t2 okay is 20 which is what the 293 we have over here so it's 293 so this plus one all divided by 6 times 10 to the power minus 3 then the temperature at this instance is what 20
2023 so uh, times uh, 2023 okay then plus one all right so let me let me get some space over here Yeah, sorry about that. So, sorry for that delay. Uh, my laptop was freezing. So, uh, so our RT2 will be equal to. Now, if you input all of this into your calculator, you'll be getting 0 0.84 ohms. Okay. So it means the resistance of the filament at the temperature 20 degrees Celsius or 293 Kelvin is equal to what 0 0.84 ohms now if you don't understand this way of doing it you can look at it in another way okay and then the other way is let me bring this down a little now the other way we can look at this is the fact that from the first one RT1 is equal to R0 into bracket 1 plus alpha t1 okay we can input the rt which is the four ohms over here we don't know the r we know this and then we know the temperature over here which is the 1750 or the 2023 kelvin okay so we input this over here then uh the alpha which is this over here then we solve for r naught in this example so after we get the answer for r naught it's just a matter of just putting the r naught into the second equation which is what rt2 is equal to what r naught okay one plus alpha t2 and then we know the t2 to be what 20 degrees or the 29 uh 293 kelvin and then we know the alpha to be this okay and then we now know the r naught which we obtained from this first scenario okay so easily we can get the r2 from there so if you don't understand the process i go through by getting the answer using this method you can simply go by the normal way by finding the r naught first and then using the r naught in the second uh, equation or the second uh, uh, equation yes to find your r t2 okay so that is all i have for you guys uh, in this video and thanks so much for watching and then we apologize for uh, the little break through that we had in the process uh, my pc was full and then it was freezing so sorry about that so all the same thanks very much for watching and then i'll see you in the next video bye bye